This advanced base, or space station, will be headquarters for the final ascent to the moon. Our space satellite will have the shape of a wheel, measuring 200 feet across. Its outside rim will contain living and working quarters for a crew of 50 men. Just below the radio and radar antenna is the atomic reactor. Its seat will be used to drive a turbo generator, which supplies the station with electricity. Access to the station will be through an airlock in the hub. The three large spokes are elevator shafts, and the small pipes are used as condensers for the turbo generator and the air conditioning plant. The entire wheel will slowly rotate at three revolutions per minute. The resulting centrifugal force will produce an artificial gravity for the men in the rim. Notice that the floors are placed so that the men stand with their heads toward the hub. The wheel is divided into nine sections. The first section is headquarters and communications. The next section will be for Earth weather observation and prediction. Military reconnaissance experts, aided by powerful optical and radar telescopes, will observe every point on the globe as the space station makes its complete trip around the Earth every two hours. Next is the emergency hospital section. And then the astronomy division, where men will keep an eye on the rocket ship as it makes its trip around the moon. The rest of the space station will house calculating machines, maintenance facilities, air conditioning equipment, living quarters, and even a botanical and zoological laboratory. This entire space station will have to be prefabricated and tested on the ground. After dismantling, it will be transported in pieces up to the orbit. Construction of the space wheel now begins. The sides of the cargo nose are mechanically separated. Built-in tanks of compressed air inflate this large plastic inner section of the hub. Thin metal plates are immediately clamped on the outside to protect it from meteors. The first workday in space draws to a close. Every 24 hours, another cargo rocket will arrive in the orbit. When the airlock is attached, the pressurized hub section can be used as temporary quarters for eating and sleeping. Each succeeding load is carefully scheduled so that the parts of the station can be assembled in correct order. Nylon ropes prevent the parts from slowly drifting away. Next, the atomic reactor is installed. The wheel begins to take shape now as the three main spokes and rim sections are joined together. Condenser pipes are fitted next so that the atomic reactor may be put in operation. Even though there's no apparent motion, everything in the orbit is hurtling around the Earth at 16,000 miles per hour. The shell of the station is completed. Now comes the delicate task of installing instruments and the multitude of equipment inside. Finally, two small rocket motors on the rim, lasting for a few seconds, will set the wheel in permanent motion to revolve three times a minute. 